Okay, so now we can actually look at what we use the vernier calipers for. Okay? So we use it to determine the diameter of objects. You may be like, what's the diameter? If let's say we have cylinder like this one, even a wire. Now, if we want to check out its diameter, we would actually make use of the vernier calipers. Then, if let's say we have a can, and we want to measure the internal diameter of the cavity, you would actually make use of vernier calipers. So, a vernier calipers can be used to determine the 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 diameter of a cylindrical object. It can as well be used to determine the internal diameter of some of, of some objects, and then we can also use it to determine the depth. If let's say we want to determine the the depth of this hole, it's actually dug in the ground. Say how how deep is it from the bot from the top here to the bottom there? Would actually make use of the micrometer screw gas. So now when we look at some of the parts of the micro uh, some of the parts of the veneer calipers, I'm thinking of the micrometer screw gas because I just did a video on the micrometer screw gas. We would actually make use of the veneer calipers. So now this is the part, the depth part, which is used to determine the depth of a hole, the one that I just drew up there, the depth of any and any anything. Okay, it could be a hole, it could be uh, an engraved, an engraved, engraved uh, arrangement. You know what I'm saying? So now these other parts, these other parts are actually. Uh, used to measure the internal diameter. Okay. Then these are used to determine the outer diameter. So these are called the uh, these are called the external peaks. These are the internal peaks. This one is the locking screw. And then this one here is called the veneer scale. And this one here is the main scale. Okay, so that one is actually the finger hook. Okay, so <clears throat> uh, the accuracy of a veneer calibers is 0 0.09 millimeters. When you round it off, and you're gonna have 0 0.1 millimeters. Now, when you convert this into centimeters, it equates to 0 0.01 centimeters. How then do you read the veneer calibers? First of all, you have to take the reading on the main scale. So the reading on the main scale is this one. But you have to take the reading before the zero mark, the zero mark of the veneer scale. The marks are normally this side. So this one will actually be moved as we are trying to accommodate an object here. So you take the reading on the main scale, you record it, then you take the reading on the veneer scale, this one here. Okay, and you're going to multiply it by the accuracy of the veneer calipers, which is 0 0.01 centimeters. So the accuracy of a veneer calipers is also called the least count. Yeah. What are then the positive or the negative errors? In a case whereby the zero mark of the veneer calipers is to the left, on the main scale zero mark, this is a negative zero error. Negative zero errors should be added to the reading, just like we had actually uh, pointed out when we're looking at the micrometers for gauge. Positive zero should be subtracted from the reading. All right, so now let's take this example, see how we can actually solve our debt. So let's read what we got. We have to pick the reading on the main scale. So this is five. Let's check out how the numbers are moving. So that's 5.1, 5.2, 5.3, 5.4, 5.5, 5.6, 5.7, 5.8, 5.9, 5.10, 5.11, 5.12, 5.13, 5.14, 5.15, 5.16, 5.17, 5.18, 5.19, 5.20, 
5.9, that is 6. That is 6. So what's the reading before the zero here? That is 5.1, 5.2, 5.3. So the reading here is 5.3 centimeters. That's the reading on the vein scale. Then we check out the reading on the veneer scale. So the one you pick is the mark, which coincides with the mark on the on the on the on the main scale. So that's zero, one, two, three, four, and that's five. So this five has to be multiplied by zero point zero one. And that will actually give us a 0 0.05. I presuppose 5 times 0 0.01. Yes. So now after we found this, we can now add them. You can say 5.3 plus 0 0.05, which will give us uh, 5.35 centimeters. So we've solved that one. Let's move on to the next uh, problem. Okay, so problem one is here. Uh, they're saying, what is the reading shown on the veneer calipers? So you come here, you check. That's, uh, if this is 4, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, 4.6, 4.7, 4.8, 4.9, that's 5. So there is a 3 this side which has not been shown. So that's, uh, if this is 3.9, this is 3.8, 3.7. The reading is 3.7 centimeters. And we check now for a point which is coinciding, a mark which is coinciding with one on the main scale. So that is zero, one, two, that is three. Okay. So that is three, which has to be multiplied by 0 0.01, which will give us 0 0.03. We now have to add those. So 3.7, the reading on the main scale plus the reading on the veneer scale, which is 0 0.03. This one add up to 3.73 centimeters. So the reading here is 3.73 centimeters. What, what physical quantity does the veneer caliper measure? It measures N. Then state two precautions that must be taken when taking measurements using a micrometer school gauge. So here they're making mention of the micrometer school gauge. What are the precautions? One, make sure that the the spindle and the anvil are actually wiped clean. As long as there's dirty there, you're likely to get the wrong measurements. Then number two, make sure that there is no zero or there's no zero, there's no zero error there. Make sure that this this uh, the line on the sleeve coincides with the zero on the thimble. Those are the two precautions that you have to actually take note of. Uh, so we are actually done here. Thank you so much for watching. More vids are coming. Make sure that you're subscribed.